you think this is issue of tribe or issue of religion no if we told this line oh. we no go succeed we no go succeed ladies and gentlemen this is mampolo from mampolo's corner renew your mindset ladies and gentlemen please welcome obi james dr peter obi whenever you sit down and reflect what is happening in nigeria the only thing you can feel is sad and pain i was talking to father george at the airport and i told him i said i sat down yesterday with one of the people i consider very influential in the north you know and i showed him i said he's his friend so he knows him very well and i said i, I said to him let me come and see you he said no peter i said i'll come and see you i want us to sit down and talk and talk about nigeria and I went to his house and I want to read out. He tweeted it. And he, after I visited him, he tweeted, he said, I spent valuable time with Mr. Peter Obi this morning. I wish to those who see him as ethnic candidate to get to know him better. I also wish to those who try to sell him, tone down their ethnic identity. I hope this nation will see and listen to this candidate. Revolution is coming. Because I sat down to him, I said, listen. told him i said you think this is issue of tribe or issue of religion no can you show me the roads where that is paid for muslims to drive through so i can pass through it can you show me where muslims buy bread cheap can you show me those where there's so much no poverty for muslims so we can go there and live i said the president is from Kastuna. I visited Kasina. People were living in fear. Even more fear than my state. So it is not issue of religion. It is not issue of tribe. That is what we politicians used to continue the confusion called Nigeria. It's an unproductive country. So you must move this country from consumption to production. Immediately. And we have what it takes to do it. We have the talent, we have the, we have the resources. Except, like he said, we have gangsters all over the place. And when I say, people say, so stop using the word. I say, no. Nigeria is a case of, it's not just political class. It's a case of where lunatics took over the asylum. They're running it in a gangstarian way. Everybody's guilty of it. All of us here. Like I said, I keep taking my reference to Father George this morning. Say, Father George, I've been a governor. This is the only country that will celebrate criminality. Everybody, including the church, they're not exempted. This is the only country you vote Peter will be in. Everybody knew he doesn't have a house in Ikoi. When we voted him in, I was living in First Act when I became governor. So everybody knew where I lived. And suddenly he buys a mighty house in Koi, running into billions. The Korea furnishes the everything and advise the church for housewarming. The church comes in, they are praying for him. We see him wherever he got to this thing, they want him to build more. The people, the church people all over the place waiting to eat and drink and are praising him. They know where the money came from. It's known to everybody because they're saying what the church, the role of the church. They know where the money came from. But instead of calling police and saying, this man has stolen our money, they are the ones celebrating it. This is the country where I was governor. You come late to church. Church. They go and keep an empty seat in front for somebody who is not in the church. The seat is empty. He comes in the middle of the church. He's walking to the front. Nobody cares. If possible, the priest will stop talking. And they welcoming him for coming late. And the church people will be clapping. 
and call him if he has nickname like me. Oh, good day. Hey. This man came late. Let Koma stay at the back. But we refuse to do it. And when I tell people, listen, you can't go in front because you're late. So when for a judge said about impunity, it is a place where impunity, rascality, and bad behavior has become a measure of success and power. You can't use it the wrong measure. This man came late. And we know he should. We have young ones growing up who are learning what this man is doing and think that is how to live. So you have to come late. This is what I was telling for a judge when he told me about this topic. I said, there's so many things you can stop. So if they have to push people for Peter to pass, that should have power. If have, even if it's old people, push them down. So the rascality is allowed. You are clean up. People say, come in front. No, you can't kill them. No, you're not part of... No, governor, we don't want you to stay here. Obito, come in front. Why will you go in front? You're killing where you're supposed to kill. These are little things that is missing here that makes our country the opposite of what it should be. Because of it, the man who steals your 80 billion, of course, it is better for him to steal it and settle those who will settle and go home. Do you know what it means? 80 billion. 80 billion by official area is 200 million dollars. You see people today sharing dollars in Nigeria. All over the place. And nobody's asking the question. In fact, everybody's going to collect his own. Nobody's saying this thing we are doing. One of the greatest measures of your economic stability is your currency. Today, Nigeria has been dollarized. And Nigerians are celebrating those we voted into power. We have no means of earning dollar. They cannot show us means of earning dollar. If you do that anywhere in the world, they will ask you to show evidence of your dollar earning in the past five years, including relevant taxes paid. But it was being shared in public. But we are arresting young boys who have laptop. But we have people who are shared, people who have... We're asking people to pay 100 million naira, 40 million naira to buy foam in a country Nigerian per capita is 2,000 American per capita is 75,000 because Nigerian economy as you know is 400 billion dollars GDP versus American GDP of 22 trillion. Yet, you cannot pay $2,000 to buy from to contest the election in America. But they are charging you here in Nigeria $200,000 to buy from to be governor. That's what Father is saying. You're owing lecturers. You're negotiating with bandits. You see governors going to negotiate with bandits. But they're not negotiating with lecturers. And everybody is keeping quiet. Because it's not important. The global average intake admission of higher school intakes is at 8%. In the Western world, it's at 8 Nigeria is 9%. We're well, not even achieving a quarter of the global average and that is the problem because you don't care for those areas you need to care and you ask yourself what is wrong with here what did we do wrong you know is it prayers or do we go and hire native doctor what are we going to do to solve this problem we have to combine everything to get it right what are we going to what is wrong here what is shocking is that Egypt built their power plant. You can go and Google photos of you who read. Three countries of the world built the fastest power plant in the past five years. Egypt, Vietnam, and India. That's why I decided to go to Egypt. 
because they built the fastest one. They were able to double their power in five years from 20 megawatts to 50 something thousand. And what did they do? They said they found out in their study that power was one of the causes revolution. Call it riot in 2012-2013. Because small businesses have no power and they collapse. And they join it. So they decided we must get power. So it became part of national security. And they were doing it. And you ask yourself, what is difficult? I went to the companies that built it. From the companies that talk to the financiers. All of them are willing to do the same thing. And I asked all of the companies because they're talking to Nigeria. I said, but I thought you were talking to the Nigerian government. They told me they were having a meeting with the Nigerian government for the past three years. Every time they come, is a meeting. And they come and go. I'm telling you, this is me now. I'm telling you. They said, when they told us you were coming, we just received you because you said you want to know what we're doing. We cannot. They told me that in Egypt, it took them one month from beginning of the talk to conclusion of the talk. And the highest person in the land was involved. And his position is, tell me what you need. I don't want to go via any company. I want to deal with direct with you, men in Germany. Would you have this? You have this? You have this? Can you get this thing? I'm going to give a sovereign guarantee. No variation. No nothing. One month. They said Nigeria is meeting upon meeting, committee upon committee. And each of those committees do what? They collect money. <laughs> Buy house in Nikoi. And then invite us as church members. And we said that the man is doing well. And one of us will agree. But there are people that can conclude. The real problem is all of us. It is time for all of us to decide that we must have a country. That we must take back our country. And I will start from recruitment process. Today, we have people who want to be president. What people who wants to be governors? Who wants to be senators? Who wants to be everything? It is time to start scrutinizing. This Mr. Obi, who is he? Don't say he's a Catholic. There's no Catholic in it. There's no church. There's no. I've not seen where Catholics buy bread cheaper. If you know where, well, show me. Neither have I seen where Pentecostals buy things cheaper. Buy rice, anything cheaper. So let's remove church from it. The question is, Mr. Obi, don't look at his tribe. Those who think Peter Obi is contesting because of an evil man, an evil turn, there's no turn here. The turn here is who will fix this problem. So, let's put Mr. Obi on the scale. Where is he coming from? This thing he's talking, because we have people who can speak good English here, and who can talk well. This thing he's talking, where did he do it before? Do they have this thing? Do we know him and everything? Let's interrogate even mothers, his family and everything. It's not enough to say the man is this, the man. Let's start from there. This man who says he's going to be governor. Don't look at what you're going to benefit. All of us have benefited. All of us are going down every day. Things are worsening every day. I know people who can't go to their village now. Yet they are big men. In Lagos. No. You can't tell me that. If your territory has been taken away and you say you're a big man. Where? Because that's where they go. They go from one territory to the other. If you think this place is safe today, quote me, it won't be safe next year. Because they capture this one, you run to this one, they capture it, one, they chase you away. So, let's ask ourselves a question. Let those who want to serve us now come and tell us what they want to do. It is not good to write uh, things in paper and share us and say you're doing this and everything. Let's engage them. The last people, we didn't engage them. So when we started saying, you said this, they said, show me where I said it. Guys, I want to beg most people who are campaigning for P2B, I want to make this play. Please, 
Let us not make this campaign of P2B Igbo thing. It's not Igbo thing. It's, it's a movement. It's not, it's not a normal campaign that, that we do. Oh, this is an Igbo person. This is Yoruba person. This is Hausa person. No, it is a movement. Let us not make the campaign of P2B to be religious. It's a Christian thing. It's not a Christian thing. I know why I'm saying this. I've got lots of calls from lots of fans and lots of top, top people. Both in Nigeria and in diaspora, I've received those calls. And what they are saying is true. Please, we are not wanting to enthrone P2B as the president of Nigeria come 2023 because he's an Igbo man. No. We are not supporting P2B to be the president of Nigeria come 2023 because he's a Christian. No. To me, I am supporting P2B simply because he's the best among many. That's, that's my own. I don't know any other thing. Not tribe. I, I'm not somebody who do tribe this, that, that. No, no, no. Like I always say every time, when I was doing my NYC, most of my best pals, they are Usa, they are Fulani, they are, they are, we are friends, we eat together, we love ourselves, in the moon like this, with the outside, with the play game, and I love them, they love me, so I don't have problem with that at all. So the issue we are having here shouldn't be that, oh, because he's a Christian, I support no, that's not where we are supporting, don't support him for wrong reasons. Because he's an evil man, that's why we are supporting him, no. Even as a pastor, as a, as a, as a religious leader, Please, if you want to promote him, don't promote him because he's a Christian. Because he's going to make, make the campaign to be limited to Christians. And the other of our Muslim brothers might be saying, oh, it's a Christian thing. No, it's not a Christian thing. And if you are still promoting him, don't promote him because he's an evil. That's why I'm promoting him. No. Nobody can support him. Even most of our Fulani brothers, even most of our Usa brothers, our Ibibio, our, our Yoruba people, you can support him. And why must you support him? You should be supporting him because you believe he is the best. If you think he is the best. If you think he is not the best, no point supporting him. Because this is politics. Everybody has their own will. And you have your right to vote any candidate you want to vote for. But for we who are supporting P2B, we are supporting P2B on the basis of pedigree. We are supporting P2B on the basis of credibility. I am supporting P2B on the basis of economic acumen. I am supporting P2B because he is not corrupt. I am supporting P2B because he doesn't embezzle the money belonging to poor people. I am supporting P2B because he knows the pain of the poor masses. I am supporting P2B because I know he has the people of Nigeria at heart. I am supporting Peter B because I know that he's not biased and he's not tribalistic. He doesn't know because you are Igbo, he's going to just focus on Igbo people. No. He's not going to focus only Yoruba. No. He's not going to focus on only Aosa. No. He's not going to focus on only Fulani. No. Peter B is going to focus on everybody called Nigerians. Whether you be Aosa, Yoruba, Ibibio, Middle Belt, Rural South East, South West, South North, South anything you can call it. North North, North East, any region you come from. He is going to be the president for all. He's not, he's not, he's not tribalistic. He's not biased. He will be a president for all. And this is why my mind is where he is. There are some other people who have spoken well on how this campaign should be done. The right way to support your candidate. Let's watch one of them. The same politics now don't they take ethnic, religious, and tribal dimension. If we told this line, oh. we no go succeed. We no go succeed. If we told this line, we no go succeed. Mm -mm. Now it go be the confirmation way. Then they talk say no be our leaders be our problem. Mm. We be the problem of ourselves. The way people they shout, the direction way, the dimension way, the whole thing don't they take now? Northern has done the day one side. You see, Eastern has done the day one side. Christians don't they stay one side. Muslims, in case nobody tell you, na, na me they tell you, na, na what I observe. Thank you, Brakata. As a leader. Thank you, President. No be time to consider person tribe be this. No be time to consider person religion be this. Mba. No be time to consider person political party be this. What matter to us na the individual pedigree. The integrity with the individual carry. If you want to enter commercial bus now, then bring you three major tribes for Nigeria and you now maybe now Yoruba you be. Mm. They tell you say the best amongst the three three drivers, Naibu. Mm. These other ones, uh, they, then they see they learn. Mm. You go allow make your tribal man drive you. No. If na aeroplane you enter, 
they give you options. Say, you see, the pilots mm. only say this one they learn, mm. this one I be waiting they do, mm. and no be your, no be your tribe, no be your religion. Which one you go choose? You go enter. Make you answer me. You will answer me. So I beg, make we be very careful. Thank you. This thing heavy me for heart. Now you make I say make I talk him to Thank you. Thank you, sir. You don't tell where the observer. Mm. Some people are supporting some candidates because of religion. Mm -mm. Some people are supporting some candidates, a, a particular candidate, because of tribe. Some because of the region where the candidates came from. Now, very bad thing where they happen to us. Thank you, sir. We the adults, now we they scatter this country now. But wait till me they talk here, we say, I beg. I know I am talking to somebody right now. You are talking to me. I know within you, mm -hmm. between you and your God and your conscience, mm -hmm. you know I'm talking to you. Yes. You know you are supporting a particular candidate because of his religion. You know you are supporting so so candidate because of his tribe. You know you are supporting so-so candidate because of his political party. Mm. Please pinch yourself and come back to your senses. Come back to your senses. Tribe, sense. religion, political party has nothing to do with the new Nigeria. Receive sense. The new and improved Nigeria mm. should be devoid of ethnicity, religious sentiment, tribal sentiment, and other sentiments will follow, including political sentiment. That's right. That is party sentiment. Mm. We they blame some of our leaders, talk saying that their godfathers, they control them. And not true. Now, who they control us? You will not get godfather. Mm. So somebody, they control your consciousness. Too bad. Somebody, they control your conscience. When I, don't, when I don't see him, this is this is chief bracketer. You know, you know, you know this man. The man not they take uh, nonsense. I know they side the nonsense. He they talk to now he make me like him. I know they I know they side people when not they when not they day genuine or upright. This the truth is that this election forget about party, go for the person. <laughs> forget about the party. That's number one thing there. The number two thing that I see lots of pastors, lots of men of God, you know, trying to say, oh, the Christians should do this. The Christians, is a, it has to be the Christian to put voter in power. Why is not it always Muslim? Not? No, 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 no. We are not dealing with Muslim and Christian here. No, that's not the problem. The problem is not between the religions. No, forget about the religion. The problem is not between the tribe. <laughs> no, no, because of uh, southeast or south south or so north or north central. That is, these are not the problem. The problem is who we deliver. Go for the person. <laughs> Forget where you are coming from. Do you know why? When petrol increase, like I said, I don't know whether what is it there now. Whether four hundred or before that, a little I did now. If it increase to one thousand five hundred tomorrow, because of bad leader, when you vote in power, <laughs> not be only the South is going to suffer them. <laughs> not be the only West, only the Europa go suffer them. No, not be only the North go suffer them. No, all of us go suffer the pain. <laughs> You understand what I'm trying to say? So if you are going, no go, no go put somebody won't go and bring you all your money and you go put you on dry in a dry state, you'll be dry. You'll be dry. If you see yourself when you come from Nigeria again, hey, I think go local, stock fish. It is like a stock fish. They will dry you, make you dry. Don't put anybody like that. Don't sell your vote. Don't say because it's this party and that party, I am I'm, I am lawyer, especially when it comes to presidency. You can do that, but maybe I don't, you, are, you are chairman, councillor, or those lower, lower, local, local one. You can do that. But you see the president, because the Bible says, when the foundation is destroyed, what can the righteous do? The foundation of any government, the foundation of any government is the head, is the head man. This is the president, is <laughs> the prime minister. These are the foundation. If you have wrong head, if you have wrong head, seated there, wrong one, my brother, everybody from, from beginning to go, go so far, like at the time, is from top to bottom, top to bottom, top to bottom. Now, top to bottom, you could go for four years. After the four years, you continue another four years because there's every possibility they will still win. If they will give you another top to bottom for another, another four years, eight years. Add them to your life when you do now. If you do 40, you don't they do close to 50. You not be useless with that one. Not with you do. 
Not to do with that one. So let's be careful. That is what this man is telling you. Let your, let your conscience Lord, tell you the right person to vote for. You have a conscience, like as 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 Brekete talk. You know, see the man, our, our president talk Brekete. It makes sense, a lot of sense. Because when the thing begins to affect, it will affect both the poor and the rich, both the Hausa and the Yoruba, both the Igbo, both the Igbo and the Fulani. Everybody will get the first share of the Hashi if you vote in the wrong person. So let's join our hands to build a better nation for all of us come 2023. Guys, if you love what we are doing, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. All I'm on Polo's going love you guys. Peace out.